So of the three outbreaks that are going on right now, there's COVID, dengue and monkeypox cases are still spreading around the world, right? Which one worries you the most? Actually, by now, we have reasonable understanding of all the three conditions, monkeypox, dengue, as well as COVID-19. So I would say that with this reasonable degree of understandings, we should be able to cope with the situations as we have. But what is more important to me in my mind is that we should be asking these questions. What is going to come next? Should we worry about what is going to come next and what should we do? Pathogen X. Which is Pathogen X or whatever name you want to give to this future unknown. Right. So what do we know about Pathogen X now? We don't know because right. it is something that we think it will come. Mm -hmm. And I think it is also very important that we know that it's going to come. We should have our own anticipatory pre preparedness to be able to cope with whatever that's going to come that we do not know in what form, in what shape, and also do not know when. The most important thing is to learn from every outbreak and take the lessons from there and continuously beef up and be able to strengthen the system. And one of the things that's very important is surveillance. So in other words, we need to stay alert, look around us, as well as have good connections regionally and internationally so that we can have as early the information as possible to allow us to have first-hand preparation. One of the advantages with the setup of NCID is to see the streamlined approach, putting the clinical components together with the public health and also with the research and professional training and education all under one roof and able to give this very streamlined approach. So for example, for COVID-19, all the new cases came to NCID that give us the ability to study them very quickly to see how we can understand the conditions as quickly as possible. And these information that we have gained as evidence to share with the entire healthcare communities, as well as providing evidence for ministries and for the governments to have their own policy uh, decision making. So without NCID, how would Singapore have fed in the fight against COVID then? Well, this kind of big Eve question is very difficult to, to answer. Uh, but I would say that we will still get by, but perhaps the challenges may be a little bit different. We may have more of the logistical and response challenges, but I think essentially we will get by. For Pathogen X, I think, or for any new challenges that's going to come, I think a few things uh, I will focus on. First is to stay alert, uh, have a good surveillance system where you can detect very quickly. The next part is to have good connection. Connections means that we connected up within the regions as well as internationally because information sharing is utterly important. And also because Singapore is a, a travel hub, so you know we have to anticipate that any things happen in any other parts of the world, Singapore is not going to be spared. So since we are not going to be spared, let's have our antenna up, have our alert system up to be able to detect them as quickly as possible to uh, give us more of the period or times to be able to respond uh, as appropriately, as quickly as possible. Prof, are you worried that Singaporeans are getting too complacent now that uh, COVID is still spreading, right? And we don't know when pathogen X will come. Personally, I can still see a lot of people on the streets, uh, in their workplace, still having their masks on. So I think all of us as a Singaporean, be it whether healthcare providers or uh, the common publics, we are learning a lot of things from COVID. And a few things uh, that I will emphasize, in fact, a few very common phrases that people use. One is assess your own risk, make sure you know how the disease will impact you. And another very common phrase that we use is protect yourself, to protect your family, to protect the people around you, to protect your community. It's a very common phrase that we use and I hope this kind of common phrase will continue to remind people of what we have learned from COVID. And the last thing I want to say is to be socially responsible. Let this stay with us.